you want to get your hands on some man snake? Aloha! Today is not going to be a vlog. Today I'm going to tell you five reasons why you should love scrub pythons. Why scrub pythons are cool. Why scrub pythons are the best. Why you should allow scrub pythons to be your lord and savior just like me. I just want to warn you guys before you get into this video, for whatever reason, I'm feeling extremely sarcastic today, probably because I was born and raised on sarcasm, breastfed sarcasm as an infant, and sarcasm is my middle name, actually, now you know. And just to be clear, before we get started on the video, I'm not a scrub python expert. I don't even know why they call them scrub pythons. I'm assuming because they find them in the scrub in Papua New Guinea. Indonesia area, maybe even a little bit of Northern Australia. And I just really like them, I want to share them and maybe share some reasons why you should like and love them too. And that's the whole purpose behind this video. So don't go crazy down in the comments telling me I don't know what I'm talking about, because I don't at all, ever, about anything. As you can see, they've got a uh, prehensile tail, which is something certainly to love because they like to hold on to things and cuddle them. Uh, just like you might like to hold on to things and cuddle them, it makes makes her feel safe. This is our Marauke scrub python. Comes from the southern area of Papua New Guinea. At least that's what I'm told. I got this girl from Dan Maliri a while back, and uh, I don't know if she's actually from Marauke. It's hard to say when people are importing from other countries. Sometimes they just use the name that's from the area that it got exported. So I don't know if she actually is from there, if she just was exported from Marauke. Anyway, that's the southern end of the island of Papua New Guinea. I got all of this information off of Wikipedia, so, so don't, uh, if, you, if you got a problem with it, you just, it's fine. I have a problem with it too. Scrub pythons are also known as amethystine python because the sheen that comes off of their scales is kind of a, I guess it reminded somebody of amethyst, which is a purple rock crystal. So I, I don't, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense to me either. But hey, you know what? If you look at it in the right light, oh, there it is. All kinds of purple. They used to be classified as Morelia, the same uh, as carpet pythons, but that was changed in, when was it, 2014, something like that? I'm not 100% sure. I was just kidding about the Wikipedia thing. I'm just, I'm running off the top of my head here. She is just starting to go into shed, which is something snakes do. For those of you guys that aren't aware, snakes go into shed and shed all of their skin. Just like we're constantly shedding our skin, they do it all at once, instead of in little tiny pieces and flakes for you to breathe in and, and enjoy in your nostrils. Scrub pythons can also get pretty big. They're actually one of the six largest snakes in the world, especially if you're talking about the Northern Australian scrub pythons, which are also known as uh, Somalia King Horni or King Horni. I think I like the second one better. I feel like scrub pythons get a bad rap for being uh, cantankerous or, or hard to handle. I'm definitely proving that they're not the easiest to handle at the moment. However, uh, if you, with any snake species, if you get them at a young age and you work with them and socialize them and get them used to being handled, just like I did with this girl right here, then there's much less you have to work about. I meant to give some shout outs at the beginning of this video. I'm gonna do it now. KB Reptiles, they just uploaded a new video on YouTube, haven't been there for a while, nice to see those guys back on the tube of the U. Welcome back KB, Carrie and Barrows, two very lovely Canadian folks who I love very much and miss and can't wait to see you again at a show. And shout out to Nerd, that's actually where I got the idea to do this video because I was hanging out there. If you missed those videos, you can click on this link right here. Rob over at Nerd has a very lovely scrub python named Janet who was very well socialized and I was hanging out with and had her all over my head and face and she was just, just reminded me of how my scrub pythons are nice and socialized, except Rob's snake bigger than mine, which seems to be a recurring theme from everybody I meet. 
It's fine. As you can see, uh, scrub pythons are semi-arboreal which means they like to climb up in trees and things like that. You can see the snake trying to climb and constantly going up, so they would appreciate a little bit of height in their enclosure. This is not supposed to be a fact about scrub pythons video. This is supposed to be why you should love them. What am I doing? You should love them because they love to climb trees. And our ancestors love to climb trees too. So that makes us cousins and friends. Climb trees like scrub pythons. Climbing trees is fun. I've climbed a lot of trees in my life and so have scrub pythons. I'm really messing this up. Okay, I'm gonna focus on why you should love them and not the facts. The fact is, scrub pythons love to eat, but only every so often. So if you were keeping a scrub python as a pet, you could say feed it every couple weeks. That's only two times a month. Think about a goldfish or a dog that you have to feed every day. That's, that's just a pain in the ass. You can feed this thing twice a month and <laughs> isn't that great? I'm gonna go get her boyfriend and we're gonna show him off because he's not in the shed. You know what's funny? He's kind of going into shed too. That's not really funny. It's just, it's just what it is. It's a fact. It's not a fact of why you should love scrub pythons. Double fisting scrub pythons. If you're gonna double fist something, it should be a scrub python. You shouldn't be double fisting anything else but snakes. All right, maybe, maybe a couple of beers, I don't know. Double fisting scrub pythons is the best way to relieve stress at the end of a long, hard day. Another reason to love scrub pythons. So we have five yet. <laughs> Sometimes they like it hot, sometimes they like it cool. They're hot and cold. It's a, it's a great thing for any relationship that you wanted to bond with anybody. You get those hot and cold moments. I give them a temperature gradient about 10 degrees, just like just about any cold-blooded species. You want them to be able to get cold or get warm at their leisure. And uh, I find the magic spot for a lot of different python species is about 88 degrees in the hot spot. They seem to really enjoy that and do well at that temperature and do all the natural things that their bodies want to do, which is something they need to do. This is so much fun, actually. You see how he's keying in on my face like that? But I've raised him to be friendly, and all scrub pythons can be friendly, just like these ones so you can have nice, gentle interactions with them and not worry about getting bit. Because another thing about scrub pythons is they have quite long teeth because one of their natural prey items in the wild is birds. Those long teeth help to catch birds. Something like, it's not something crazy like emerald tree bow teeth, but they're not short teeth, that's for sure. They're fairly long teeth. These are both a patternless variety of Marauke scrub python, <laughs> which is why there's no pattern on them. And I thought that looked really cool when I first got them, now, I think that the pa the patterns of scrub pythons, especially the highland scrub, have you seen, seen, have you seen highland scrub pythons? Highland scrub pythons have an amazing pattern. I found those right after I found these. And it's all right. See that, he just bat me in the face with his tail. I don't know how this looks to you guys on camera, but I'm telling you right now that having these two snakes wrapped around me like this feels absolutely awesome. I feel like like Medusa or something, even though they're not coming off my head. I know like, like Medusa, Greek or Roman. Is it Greek or Roman? Medusa. I'm gonna say, let's go with Greek. What was the, uh, who's the guy that defeated Medusa? Perseus. I'm like Perseus. 
after having killed Medusa. And now I'm hanging out with her head hair. And that's another reason you should love scrub pythons, because scrub pythons are awesome. Just look at me. This could be you. You could be me. Right here, hanging out with scrub pythons, because scrub pythons are awesome. Freaking amazing to handle. Have you ever held a ball python? Now I'm not trying to knock ball pythons. I got plenty of ball pythons here and I love by py ball pythons and they're great for handing off to kids because they just sit there in a nice little ball in their hands. This is more man snake. You want to get your hands on some man snake? Scrub pythons are where it's at. If you're a girl too, you can get your hands on some man snake too. I mean, man snake is great for girls as well. And we're having a good time now. One of the biggest projects I'm working on right now, I thought of this all by myself. This isn't from Wikipedia, this is from my own brain. I'm eventually going to work on hybridizing scrub pythons and ball pythons so that the scrub pythons can have all the amazing different patterns and colors that ball pythons do, and they can also sit still and not run around. It's a lot easier for filming on video. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about my idea to hybridize ball pythons with scrub pythons, and uh, we'll have a great conversation about why I'm right and you are wrong. But the most important message that I'm trying to get across in today's video is that you should love scrub pythons just like me. All right, thank you guys for watching today's video on five reasons you should love scrub pythons and introduce them into your own life. I'm out of here. Aloha.